Such like big art, um, you know, really. Thank you so much. It is such a privilege to be here, and it is a real privilege to be in the company of, of course, with Makala, the High Commissioner, and all of you as well. Um, we're fourteenth August, starting here, Yom Azadi, and it's a reminder. It really is a reminder of the of the struggle um, that our forebears went through to kick the colonialists out of the subcontinent, and then for a homeland such as Pakistan. And you know, it, it, I'm so proud of our community. No matter where we are, even like right here, but also back back home in Pakistan. And the Indus Hospital project is one of those incredible, incredible things. Or Iran, मुझे बताएं ये भी कि कहीं Indus hospitals में there are no cash registers. You know, we talk about universal healthcare here, and we're moving away from that. You know how expensive GPs are becoming. But in Pakistan, which is what people call third world country, sadly and shamefully, there are su- there is such incredible work happening, and that's happening because of who you all are, because of who people back there are. And yes, Pakistan is going through massive challenges. But in it, many people are now still in Pakistan, in the whole world. काफी पाकिस्तानी भी गए हैं गाजा और वहां से आके उन्होंने जो बताई है कहानियां और मैंने सुनी है जैसे But it's a cost. So you obviously taken a big challenge. Mm-hmm. I guess that's Turkish people and they're very powerful people. How can we help you? Thanks so much. Thanks so much. That that is absolutely true. I don't often talk about the cost, but there is there is a very personal cost to this, um, and there is a cost to the family and friends. And so I think. For me, the best way is to just support me in whatever way you can, and that is supporting me through social media, or you know, or advocating, you know, pushing the government to be better, like joining our cause. I'm also up for election at the next federal <laughs> election. <laughs> <laughs> so I want all of you to make sure, you know, one of my goals and the goals that, um, you know, one of the goals of the community that I talk to is to really hold the Labour government. Why? Yeah. Very happy for anyone to actually email me. Um, and you know, there's so many things that we can do. But thank you so much. That that means so much to me. So, and I keep going uh, because. Without further ado, I'd like to invite Dr. Saeed Khan to say, you know, to give us a bit more detailed perspective of Indus Health Australia. It's easy to say we got DJ status, but only if you know the struggle that Dr. Saeed has to go through in the last few years. He is the Karta Darda of the Friends of Indus Australia. Uh, Uh, Health Australia. We just support him morally, but thank you so much, Sir, for doing it. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the wat- waters and lands on which we live and work, and pay my respects to the elders, past, present, and future. Good afternoon and welcome. It is a profound honour to stand before you as the chairman of Indus Health Australia. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you who are present here. I would like to especially acknowledge High Commissioner Janab Zahid Afiz Chaudhry and Senator um, Ehin Farooqi who just left, and Mrs. Ufma Gilani for jo- joining us this lovely Sydney afternoon to discuss an issue. that is critical to millions of lives the health situation in pakistan and the efforts of indus hospital and network pakistan faces a daunting health crisis with population of over 225 million the country struggles 
with myriad of health challenges. Limited access to quality health care, inadequate medical infrastructure, shortage of trained health care professionals, especially in rural areas, are just few barriers that impede the delivery of health care. In addition to this, so far, all successive governments completely ignored health sector and consequently health funding is one of the lowest in the region. And as a result, infant and maternal mortality rate is one of the highest in the world due to chronic malnutrition. A significant portion of population lacks access to clean, clean drinking water and proper sanitation. This contributes to waterborne diseases and overall poor health outcomes. There's a rising burden of non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and cancer, accounting for 50% of all deaths in Pakistan. In the face of these challenges, Indus Hospital and Network has emerged as a beacon of hope. Established with the mission to provide indiscriminate quality and absolutely free healthcare services to the people of Pakistan. Indus Health has grown from single hospital in Karachi to a nationwide network of healthcare facilities. Our hospitals and outreach centers offer comprehensive medical services ranging from primary care to complex surgeries and procedures. Indus Health approach is holistic. We focus not only in treating illnesses, but also on preventing them through extensive community outreach programs. Our mobile health units travel to most re remote areas providing vaccinations, maternal and child health services, and health education. By addressing root cause of health issues, we strive to create sustainable health improvements in the community we serve. Our efforts are made possible by unwavering support of donors, volunteers, and partners from around the world. Here in Australia, Indus Health Australia plays a crucial role in raising awareness about health crisis in Pakistan. Generous contributions from Pakistani diaspora have enabled us for further, to further expand our services. Indus Health Australia now has DGR status which means donations are and payment expects through the elders past present and one let me also acknowledge dr saeed khan and his wonderful wife for this very kind hospitality that they have extended to everyone and we also like to acknowledge all the friends of indus hospital including dr kasim for being part of this wonderful initiative and a beautiful journey and in fact every one of you for being part of this journey i am so this journey will be fulfilling. This journey will be rewarding. Pakistani community here in Australia, everywhere else in the world, and in Pakistan also, we are giving people. In Pakistan, 1.3% of the GDP goes towards philanthropic cause. Pakistan, we are not a very rich people, but still 97% of Pakistan contribute towards philanthropic causes in their uh, life. When we say 1.3%, we are ahead of most of the developed nations in that regard. I think we are behind only Canada and UK and maybe another country. But third or fourth largest in terms of donating as a percentage of our GDP. I would also like to thank the Pakistani diaspora here in Australia for the contribution that they are making towards Pakistan be it the social development of Pakistan, be it the economic development of Pakistan, the philanthropic work in Pakistan, 
but most importantly for your love for pakistan i have get to meet a pakistani including the second third or a fourth generation pakistani who does not support the pakistan cricket team no matter which team they play against and i would also like to congratulate every one of you for the wonderful victory that ashish nazim has yeah. Yeah. हमारे एक ऑस्ट्रेलियन फ्रेंड को समझ नहीं आती है कि इतने खुश क्यों हैं क्योंकि एटीन गोल्ड मेडल वो ऑलरेडी जीत चुके हैं इस पेरिस ओलंपिक में और उससे पहले भी हमने 40 साल हमने 40 साल के बाद ये पहला तमाम जो है वो जीता है लेकिन लेकिन मैं आपको बताऊं डी वे दैट ही हैज वन 92.97 जबकि उसके करीब तीन जो है वो 90 से कम थे 89 अब ये इस तरह की जो कंपेटिटिव स्पोर्ट्स हैं ओलंपिक की स्टेज के ऊपर वहाँ इतना ज़्यादा मार्जिन नहीं होता और मैं सुन रहा था अशर नदीम को वो कहता है जी मैं रिदम में था मैं इससे दूर भी बैंक करता था दैट्स अ स्पिरिट ऑफ बीइंग अ पाकिस्तानी दैट्स अ और आपको मुबारकबाद भी देना चाहूँगा for being part of this wonderful initiative और हमारी तरफ से high mission for Pakistan मेरा घर जो है जिसे Pakistan आउट कहते हैं our doors are always open for you किसी भी किस्म का आप event करना चाहें any sport that you need it would be more than a pleasure for us it would be an honour for us to be part of this इंशाल्लाह मैं भी पैसे देंगे I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one.